Hello bakers, welcome to Upside Down. Today we are going to talk about primitives inside 3ds Max. I'll show you how to create them and also what kind of modifications we can do on them before we even start selecting individual pieces and converting them to the models that we want at the end in our scene. Now let's roll the intro. Now I want to show you a little bit more about how you can create some of the primitives, what options do we have by default for modifying them and also what options are available for us once we converted everything into an editable poly. First I'll start with the box. We can create it by clicking, holding and dragging somewhere, after that releasing and you can see that we can go either up or down and whenever we click one more time we will already have our model. Now that I have it created. I'll go to modify and we can see here on the side all the statistics for our box. We have our length, width and height and also we have the number of segments. I'll turn off wireframe by using F3 so that we can see what the segments does better and we will increase everything by one. You can see that by making all the segments on two we've added extra divisions to our model. This is something that you need to have in mind when you are creating an asset that maybe in the very beginning it will be useful and time saving to create a couple of divisions and after that continue on modifying it. I'll delete now our object by selecting it and clicking delete on the keyboard and I'll go to our sphere. We can create it by clicking and just dragging on the scene. I'll again go to modify, select it and here we can see that we have radius and we have number of segments. I'll this time click F4 so that we can see our edges on top of the sphere and I will decrease the number of our segments. Now I will hide the edges and I will show you what the smooth option does. At the moment we can see that even though that we see clearly the polygons on the side, still the center of the sphere looks very smooth. This is because 3ds Max is simulating that there is a smooth surface but we can toggle this on or off from this option. Another thing that we can do with our sphere is hemisphere. So this is something that we can use to cut part of the sphere. Also we can use slice, which will cut again a part of the sphere, but from a different side. The next primitive that I want to talk about is a cylinder. We can click, drag it, then we release it, click one more time and we have it created. We will go again to modify while we have it selected. We will see that there, there we, we can see that here we have radius, we have height. I will turn on again the edges. We have height segments. We have cap segments, cap is the very top. And we have side segments. Again we have the same option of smooth and of course to slice it. The last primitive that we are going to check is going to be our plane. This is something that we are going to use very often because it's very easy to start modeling a lot of different objects from a plane. If we go to modify we can see that we have length and width and after that we have a number of segments. To illustrate what I mean that this is an element which is very easy to start modeling with, I will convert it to an editable poly so that we can interact with all the individual elements that construct it. I will right click, convert to editable poly and now I will go on vertex and I will start selecting one by one different vertices and moving them up or down depending on the shape that we want to create. You can see that very quickly I was able to create a shape which I want. Also I can go and select edges and modify different edges or select polygons and modify those. 
what I want you to do now as an exercise, try to play a little bit with the primitives, try to convert them to an editable poly, select different elements and try to modify them into a shape that you would like. This exercise will make you feel a little bit more comfortable with using the tools and also it will help you get used to rotating the camera and adjusting everything in the viewport. Thank you for joining me in today's tutorial, leave a like and subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss the other parts of this series. As well, in the next segment I want to introduce you a little bit more to my channel membership and what kind of perks you can get if you decide to support the channel. Thank you for considering becoming a member of my channel Upside Down. There are a few tiers available that you can choose from. Tier 1 is Base Mesh. In this tier you are going to get access to loyalty badges, custom emojis and also exclusive HD wallpapers and renders from the scenes that we are creating on the tutorial series. And as well you are going to see community only posts for voting new and hot topics for upcoming videos. Hi Polly! Of course you are getting all the perks from the previous tiers, plus you are going to get an exclusive access to different 3D assets, brushes and other content that can help you either build up your scenes faster or you can use those in your projects either for prototyping or as an asset in your final game. Thank you for considering becoming a channel member and supporting me as a creator so that I can make more tutorials and more cool things for future.